Anyone who has visited uh, an olive grove or witnessed the production of high quality olive oil knows the painstaking work, the everyday challenges, and the countless decisions that go into making this product. You'll need the perfect soil and cultivars, the ones that thrive in your microclimate. The trees will take years before they bear fruit, and when they finally do, they might be attacked by pathogens or fruit flies. You'll need some rain, but not too much. Floods, droughts, heat waves, deep freezes can wipe out your whole year. You'll need to harvest your olives at just the right time, whether it's 100 trees or 100,000. Coaxing each perfect olive from its stubborn hold, limb after limb, tree after tree, row after row. To produce the best quality, you might consider harvest, harvesting your olives earlier with little regard to, to yield. Letting them ripen longer could get you much more oil, but you've decided not to let quantity guide your decisions. The moment each olive is picked, the clock starts ticking as it begins to decompose. And it will quickly degrade to a point that would be detected by the trained tasters on our judging panel. You'll need to get to the mill very quickly. Whether you're fortunate to have your own machines or you turn to a reputable miller in town or a local cooperative, the equipment needs to be perfectly clean. Any old sediment in there will have dire consequences for the taste of your oil. Endless decisions will be made during the crushing, malaxation, separation, and bottling stages in a heroic effort to produce a juice that is undisturbed, as close as possible to the way that juice was within that perfect olive that was hanging on the tree. And after all of that, your oil needs to, be, needs to withstand time in packaging under the unpredictable conditions of transport and the supply chain until someday it is finally poured over some food somewhere, or in this case, analyzed by an elite panel of sensory experts who might find some small defect an indication that at some point along this very long road, something happened that disturbed the juice or prevented the qualities of the particular cultivars that you chose from shining through. Is it all worth it? <laughs> it is. It is. It is worth it. Because you know that your extra virgin olive oil can be among the healthiest products that the earth gives us. One that can ele elevate our enjoyment of foods to new heights. And every, but every day, more people know that too. 910 producers have committed themselves to producing the best quality for all of us. For the health of our families and the taste of our foods. And yet, after all of their hard work, there will be some who will be disappointed after tonight's announcements. But we're not here only to celebrate the winners of this, comp of this competition. We're here for a much bigger purpose. To recognize and applaud every producer who, who has set out to craft the best olive oil possible under the, under the conditions that, that they had to meet this time, this year. Each year brings its own set of challenges. And while some seem to have locked in on a winning formula, we have seen new companies emerge, new enterprises emerge every year to claim their award here. A silver award for an Italian blend, Oro di Sicilia Green Gold. We have Tommaso Asaro. Nicely done. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you.
For an Italian blend, we have a gold and a silver winner. For an Italian blend and a Nocellata del Belich, we have Silvia Lombardo for Pesanol and Partana. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you.